Hello everybody, today we're playing Fate Extra. A friend of mine asked ex me <laughs> I'm sorry for that. A uh, friend of mine asked me to, to play this game. So I hope you guys enjoy it. We're playing it in normal mode, because I've played this game before. I've completed it two two three times three with each character. So let's start this. It's a bright sunny morning. The air is filled with the joyful laughter of students. There's more activity than, than normal in front of the school gate. A crowd is forming as students being called over. I wonder what's going on. When I peer into the center of the umbump, I see my friend and student council president Issei Ryodo. Good morning, lovely weather we're having, don't you think? Hmm? Why do you look so surprised? We announced at, at least weeks, at last week's assembly that this month the student council will strictly enforce school rules. Having tasked with performing inspections to ensure students are in compliance with school rules. Now, it goes without saying that everyone is subjected to inspections, even old friends. Now then, info uniform inspection time, collar check, pant hmm. check, and your, and your socks check. Next, next is the contents of your bag, notebooks, textbooks, pencil box, not even a whiff of contra contraband. Your nails are evenly cut and your hair haircut is sensible. Indeed, quite remarkable. Oh, thank you. You're a model of Tsukumihara Academy student. Someone like you ought to consider a future in student government. You'd better you'd be perfect for it. I, I really don't think so. Uh, oh, but I'd never try to con. con course you into joining the student council we aren't like that now then off to your classroom enjoy your day i will surely enjoy my day before i can reply mr delay the the student council president is on the next student inspection angry for gossip on their way to their classrooms the students jabber about the inspections Things are always so gently bustling in the morning. Another peaceful beginning to the another peaceful day. Systems. Oh, right, okay, triangle to save. Welcome and enjoy your stay at Tsuki Tsuk Tsukumihara Academy. Jesus, these names. I just wanted to try saying that once, just to see how corny it would sound. <laughs> If you continue right, you'll find the uh, archery range. But you should head to head for the school building now. Your classroom is in the second floor, right? If you don't get to your classroom soon, you'll incite Tiger's Wrath. Yeah, sure, why not? I have this weird feeling that I'm forcing something. Forgetting something. I just can't think of what it might be. Man, I must have a whole... A hole in my mind. Maybe if I head back to my classroom. Yeah, let's just go to classroom already. Oh man, I got to go to the bathroom before homeroom starts. My eyes are starting to float. We better head to the classroom. Our classroom. Our classroom? Oh, uh, to a ring a bell? Not really. To a. As I enter classroom, I see Moto with a bunch of girls. Why is so popular? Is a mystery. Hey, did you show up? When did you show up? You're so quiet and old that I didn't even notice you. 
Even though we've uh, hey, we've been friends since our freshman year, right? Anyway, don't sweat the fact that you're as boring as dirt, man. What a douchebag! <laughs> it's not like you can help it. I mean, anyone would seem boring and stupid when compared to me. It's a little early for so much abuse, but it's but as it's. Shinji Mato, it can't be helped. His arrogance is almost pal pal palatable. I don't know what he's saying, but make all the girls be squeal with joy. I don't know what how that works, but okay. Actually, let me rephrase. His popularity isn't so much mystery as it is an ep a natural. I was just doing a little math to train. This stuff is beyond easy for me, anyway. Uh, look at me, I'm so good at math. Uh, wait a second. Hey, Mato, isn't the answer to this question totally wrong in every way? Oh, what? What, what the? What? Um, I'm the one who solved that. There's no way it could be wrong. But, but, look at this. Since when did the two plus two equals five? Oh, really? I'd never make such a stupid mistake. It's all your fault. You're the idiots here, not me. Oh, oh, oh look at that. As Shinji rises, rises his voice, the girls all panic and run back to their desks. <sighs> I hate dealing with the proletariat. Uh, I don't want to pronounce that. Uh, especially when they think they're my equal. It's really pathetic that these worms don't know their place. That's why I like you so much. Even though you're boring, you know not to steal my thunder. What? <laughs> uh, you're the ultimate sidekick. Thanks, I guess. Shinji flashes me a, a smile. It's weird how I never take offense at the way he talks to me. My some strange w twist of fate, Shinji Mato, and I are friends by some strange twist how we became friends was i can't quite remember how it happened i want to say we met in spring sometime the bell for class rings as i tried to recollect and who should fly through the door but our homeroom teacher miss fujimura phew i made it good morning every we and third, Mr. Fujimura trips, falling painfully onto the floor. As she lands, her head strikes the corner of the plat platform at the front of the dead the classroom. Jesus, the classroom goes dead silent. Every student's attention is focused on the same thing. That gotta hurt again. How does she manage to trip in the same place every time? Listen, you. Oh, it's a girl. Listen, you. This isn't the time to be making stupid jokes. You're right. She isn't moving. Did she get knocked out or something? A few brave students get out the, of their seats and crowd around the still comatose Fujimura. Hey, Miss Fujimura. Fujimura? Mm, are you okay? Uh, what? What the hell is wrong? Uh, what's wrong everyone? Hey, class is about to start, so get back to your seats. Pronto! Miss Fujimura jumps to her feet as if nothing had happened. It, it's as it's small as if it, the memory of her sudden and violent trip to the floor was totally erased. As this happens all the time, one uh, no one seems to notice how or care enough to say anything. No one gives a, a thought to how odd it is for this to happen every single day. I guess she's just clumsy. The scene playing out before me seems to never change from day to day. The same exact lessons. This the exact same subject. This the exact same content. Hmm, today we're going to study the biography of Dr. Peaceman. 
man, fist man, I guess. A talented psych physicist, 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 I don't fucking know who. Ty I mean, Miss Fujimura is conducting class today the same way she does every day. You may not know, but when I was young and unknown, pathogen was the cause of a serious epidemic. In fact, outbreaks were common, but now most Ill Ill illnesses are are cu cured using <laughs> nano thing image. Okay. And FYI, I'm still young. This will be on the test, so be sure you don't forget it. I mean it. What that you're young? Her an ensuing laughter stops short at her eyes, which seems deadly serious. Oh, she's serious. Already. Just as everyone is about to call Fujimura out, the bells signaling the end of class rings. Alright, that's all for today, folks. Be sure to study hard tonight, and don't forget those important points I told you about. While today's class wasn't all that boring, it is a relief when the bell rings. I know, right? As the bell signaling end of the day sounds, students begin to break off into small groups. Thank God that's over. I was getting sick of all that busy work. Being a student sucks. The worst part of the whole deal is having to attend these stupid classes. You're still here? That's unusual. You don't have any plans, like a date or something. Haha, <laughs> I'm just messing with you. I know you're too big of a nerd to ever get a date. What a jerk. I mean, you're just going to your door club. The journalist club, right? Well, seeing as you're the as boring as stale white bread, your life is exactly as it should be. You know exactly what your role is in life. And you stay there. Well, catch you later. See you in class tomorrow. Mm, what this guy wants. Hey, the editor-in-chief of the journalist club was calling a general meeting. You'd better go. Where is she anyway? Is this her? Look who's here. It's the newspapers club ace. Got an any, got, gotten any leads? What? Did you forget? You have to write an unsolved mysteries of Tsukimihara article. Come on, I told you yesterday. Yesterday. There isn't very much time left before the deadline. Well, whatever. Your work's always so good, so I'll leave this in your capable hands. Jeez, my benevolence is like a black pen pantern running around. Yes, that doesn't make sense. So that's that. I've done some of the investigation. It's your work to do the rest. Don't look so surprised. There is a method to my madness. What? <laughs> okay, so about the first preview edi edition, the one called Gateway of the Paranormal to the Paranormal. So listen, there's supposedly an entrance to the spirit world at the rear of the ar archery club. One time, a male student whom got who got bu bullied a lot was told to pick up trash there and vanished. Everyone's totally convinced that there's a paranormal activity going on back there. Isn't that scary? I mean, ridiculous! Anyway, could sniff out the truth, leave no stone unt unturned. Your nose and eyes are the tools of the, uh, of the trade for the journalist, got it? Yes, no, you're mysterious. You're the mysterious one. <laughs> uh, yes, I guess. Your reply should be yes, ma'am. Alright, hop to it. Fan. Remaining evening. Oh, re oh, what the hell? Out of the blue, a feeling that something was moving behind the door overcame me. As a rule, students aren't allowed inside of the supply room. It might just be a rat or something. For some unknown reason, I find my eyes drawn to the door of the supply room when 
The door is suddenly and violently thrown open. What do you think you're doing? <sighs> Without warning, a man appears from out of the shadows. Dressed in black with a door express. Do do I don't know. Uh, what the hell. The person in question is very intimidating. But that sense of intimidation is immediately replaced with extreme discomfort and unease. A sudden overwhelming sense of danger gives me goosebumps all over my body. His cold, blank stare sends, sends chills down my spine, as though she, he is making me, marking me for death. For some reason, it feels as if he is deciding whether to break my neck or skin me alive. Jesus. Uh, your name doesn't appear to be on the list, but I had better make sure. He begins to mutter, mutter under his breath while at the same time he reaches out with his right hand. The chills running down my spine gain intensity as waves of nausea and vertigo wash over me. It feels like a rabbit watch watching the wolf draw near. Maybe this isn't just raw terror, I think he's holding something that's making me feel this way. You're not, you're not even trying to fight. My instincts aren't as sharp as they should be. I need to rest. The note of disgust in his voice is obvious as he slowly lowers his hand. The paralysis that seemed to make to take hold of me suddenly fades away. The man continues to look down on me with those dead eyes of his. <laughs> Students are forbidden from entering the supply room. You do well to remember that. The campus is about to close. If you have nothing else to do, I advise you to go home now. Mother. If there still is there anything else? My name is Mr. Kuzuki. I will be teaching here starting today. The man introduces himself as Mr. Kuzuki, turns and heads back into the supply room. With that, the final bell be begin begins the ch shame chime chime. Something like that, signaling that the end of the of the school day. Everything begins to progress as normal, as if nothing out of the ordinary happened. But I'm still sore and slicked with sweat, all an all too real reminder of that what happened. Wonderful, we now have a teacher with obvious murder intent, teaching at our school. Hooray! Let's just go to the archery, archery club, archery, archery. Yep, range my club, club. You caught me in the middle of cleaning. Those archery club kids don't even un unstring their bows. The worst it is when they leave their arrows stuck in the target wound. Mound. I usually make the kids do it, but there's no club activities leading up to exams, so I'm doing it. Huh? An, extra, an entrance to the spirit world? That's just a rumor. It's not real. Exams are right around the corner, so don't waste your time on stuff like that. Go home. Shoo! Shoo! What appears in the archery range isn't an entrance to the spirit world, but ta uh, uh, missed Fujimura. Well, I can't say I'm. I can't say I'm surprised she's behind one of the, one of, Tsukumi. I'm not saying that. Mystery is it's fitting. It's fitting. I'll report this tomorrow, so I can go home now if I want. A day will pass if you go home. Okay. I uh, just go home. Is that progress now? Why not? Precious as gold dust, where are the buried bo 
fires. Night morning. Days remaining, two. As I walk into class, the girls that normally flock around Shinji Moto aren't there. Shinji seems to be in a bad mood today. He usually pauses pose off girls is keeping their dis distance. What? I'll ask him if something happened. What? Like I'll tell you if anything happened to me. Which it didn't. Nothing happened at all. Hey, you know that ice queen Rin Tosaka? She thinks she's so much better than everyone else. Uh, so he was with Rin, I guess. At first I thought that she would be the only one who understand how lonely it is at the top. I tried talking to her yesterday, but I got nowhere. Maybe I'm, I just intimidated her. Or something. I might have lost a few points for getting violent. But the girls who talk back to me get slapped. Jesus. I'd never hook up with such a violent stuck up bitch like that. <laughs> no matter how, how hot she is. What a waste. She'd be perfect if... She'd be perfect if she'd just keep her mouth shut. You agree with me, right? Right? Not really. Looks like there's some tension between Shinji and Rinto Saka. Knowing Shinji, he probably hit on her and got shut down. As always. And why'd she take a shot at me? I thought she was going to spin... To spinning star kick me next. He continues to whine under his breath. I can only imagine how sleazy Shinji was being with her. Normally, his super aggressive approach works, but obviously it didn't with Rinto Saka. Life's more interesting when it's not... It, it's got <laughs> little shake shake cups like this as if right on cue Mr. Fujimura barks into the classroom as the bell sounds phew I made it good morning everyone alright no one's absent and since there are no announcements let's just start homeroom Wee. always falling always tripping as soon as she turns to reach for the shock, she trips and falls as, as she always does. As she falls, her fingernails drag across the blackboard with the horrifying sound, I hate those sounds, and thus another typically mundane day begins anew. And though the Great War had finally come to an end, regional conflicts still persist. Despite the suffering of previous generations, battles are still waged 30 years on. Standing behind the lecture today is the school's newest teacher, Kuzuki. Although he's supposed to be teaching math, his lessons seem to have gone off on a tangent. I thought that was history class, actually. <laughs> No, instead of armies, attacks in ever greater number are being carried out by terrorists. And in an attempt to suppress this terrorist group. Oh, well. With that, the bell signaling the end of classroom sounds. Classes. Sounds. And with the end of the day here, the tension in the classroom drops immediately. Alright, let, uh, let us end it here today. Oh yes, before I forget, before, uh, there is an announcement from the student counselor. Recently a rise in the number of slashing, in slashing incidents has made the surrounding area dangerous. With that in mind, keep an eye detour to a minimum and then home as quickly as possible. Get home quickly? Good advice, but I still have to finish a few assignments for the journalism club. I am so gango about investigating the school's seven wonders is a mystery even to me, but it seems important for some reason. After turning yesterday's report, I'd better go see the editor in chief this evening. Evening. I assume she's. Hey, guess what? I just passed this gorgeous girl on the stairs. Could she be a new student? 
What? I'm sure you're just talking about Rinto Saka from Class B. Rinto Saka? I never heard of her. Also. You've really never heard of her? Pretty athletic, smart, classy, or a stuck-up Miss Perfect who all the guys adore her and all the girls that despise. It wouldn't be unrealistic to call Mr. Rinto Saka the most popular girl in the whole school. Are you pulling my leg? Girl, you're so dense you probably wouldn't feel it. <laughs> you probably wouldn't feel if I pulled your leg anyway. What? I'm not dense. Not dense. Much. But she wasn't wearing our school uniform. She was wearing red. How do you explain that? I don't know. I don't know. Huh? Maybe I'm remembering wrong. You would come on, let's hurry to the art club. Club, club, what the hell? Yeah. Let's just talk to the editor in chief. Oh, art club, our, our club's ace. Did you find out anything yes yesterday? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So it was Tiger. Tiger, Miss Fujimura. Of course, there is no entrance to the spirit world. Thanks to you, the article will be great. Are you ready for the next article assignment? The next unsolved mystery is yesterday. Uh, is yesterday there was a girl dressed in red on the rooftop? What red? Room is about little red rooftop. Little red. <laughs> Are spreading. Go find out what this is all about. A journalist lets the news guide their feet to the rooftop. I turn the doorknob and the metal door opens silently on its hinges. As a rule, no one is allowed up on the roof, but I can see someone's all of it, elongated shadow. The vibrant color set off by the setting of the sun is enough take one's breath away. Under the now blood red sky a single girl looks out onto the town that spreads out below. Like a, like a figure out of the painting, the girl seems to shine with the same red glow as the setting sun. What a beautiful sunset. I can only imagine how captivating this sight must be for the people who live here. It is indeed a very beautiful scene. A shame that it doesn't really exist. The surface, it, it seems like such a big, bin, benign, peaceful world. A pity that it will soon come to an end. This place is merely an ideal idealized Im imitation of the real world and one done in pure taste I wonder if there are there's any value to a memory that can only be observed and then left behind I'm not quite sure if that last statement was supposed to express disgust or disappointment as she finish, finishes speaking, a faint smile forms on the girl's lips as she glows slow, oops, as she slowly turns in my direction. Her unwavering gaze makes it seem like she can see things even to others. Her eyes seem to shine with an intensity that rivals that of the fiery red of the evening sky. What? This? What's this? I noticed from the system? Thanks for bringing it to me. What? That's not it? That's, that means you must be one of the generic and... Uh, I mean students. If one of the irrelevant NPCs can get up here, I guess I'll have to find another place to go hang out. Continuing to mumble quietly to herself, the girl quickly walks my way. Oh well. At least this is a good opportunity for me to look one of you over. One of you over. Stand still, you. 
unexpectedly your finger reaches out and touches my cheek. Oh, what the hell? What, what's this? Is it a warning from the system? Direct interference does break the rules after all. What the hell? She just teleported or something? Mumbling to herself, the girl disappears without a trace. It's like no one was ever there at all. She vanished? There or not, her form has been indelibly burned into my mind. Oh, you're still here? It's almost time to leave school, so you should prepare to go home. What's wrong? You look a little pale. The sound of Issei's voice pulls me back to reality. I must look completely dazed and confused. Maybe I'm tired, or... I'll talk with the editor-in-chief again tomorrow. In any case, I think the course of wisdom for now would be to go home like Issei says. And they will pass if you leave campus. Yeah, just leave. Anyway. Save. <laughs> hmm. So far, nothing of much interest. Oh, morning. Has happened. I entered the classroom. Once again, Shinji Moto in the seat next to me has a full house, like three uh, poker. I'm telling you, I don't have any talent to give up before you look like a retard. So you know what he said to that? What? What? What did he say? We're dying to know, tell us. This wuss gets all, uh, all boo hoo and he says, I'll keep practicing. Until I get better, I can at least get better than you who speaks, who skips practice. Sorry, I have to laugh. Anybody knows that you can't practice your way into being genius, a genius. If you want, if you want to practice something, you should practice not sounding like a tool. You're the tool. The guy's not a total maggot, but he's still he's still trash that needs to find the garbage can. Ha <laughs> ha moron. People aren't crea created equal. Even people who are born above average can never reach the same heights as a natural as the naturally gifted. Like me. Oh. You must be so talented if you don't need a practice motto. I feel bad for that kid. Trash can't help being trash. I should learn to stop dreaming about it. It should learn to stop dreaming about being something better. The bell rings in response to gangle gaggle of girls shuffle off to their own seats. I really don't like Shinji. Uh, I wait for wait for the teacher to arrive. I get caught up on that Shinji. What Shinji said for some reason, whether or not Shinji has in it in it innate talent. I think it's pretty clear that I'm nobody, a nobody with no goals. I mean, when I try to even think about the future, I get overwhelmed. As long as I keep plodding along, someday I'll reach my total average future. Yay! That's what happens to everyone, right? Are there actually people who break the pattern? How? I have no idea. For me, today is just another order ordinary day. Whoop! What's happening? Oh, it's it's just Taiga. Taiga Fujimura. Uh, good morning, everyone. What? She didn't fall. I didn't remember that. Uh, don't remember it. Suddenly my heart accelerates each beat painfully strong. It's as if my body on high my body's on high alert. I know it's not a reaction to Miss Fujimura. No. The hell's happening? Well kids. This is a li Oh look who's there. This is a little out of the blue, but today I want to introduce you to a new friend. 
with a totally different uniform, but okay. It's him. That blonde boy is the one who's causing my bodies to fight or flight instincts to prink prickle. What? The? I don't know any of these words. Go, uh, yeah, go on, Leo. Introduce yourself. For what purpose? Mm, well, Leo, uh, you'll be attending school with these people, so I'm sure they'd like to know who you are. Ah, uh, I see. These good people do not know my name yet. He steps forward and then, in a louder voice, he says... Everyone, my name is Leonardo Bistario Arway. Fancy name. In time, it will be a name known to all the world. But for now, is the name of your classmate. I'm pleased to meet you all. I hope we enjoy our time together. Such a presentation. The classroom is silent. There aren't even any jabs at his eccentric manner of speaking. Or any cool coos over how pretty he is. Instead, the entire classroom is entrailed in, in by this regal bearing in entrance, even. Chinji's words came to mind. This is what he meant it meant to be on a different level. None of us plebs, 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 what's that anyway? Could have ever hoped to reach the level that this new kid lives on. It's not overextending to call. His very existence transfixing, like deer in he headlights, we are immobilized by a presence far brighter than our own. His natural place is above us, looking down as our king. How did someone like him end up here? It must be a mistake. Static. Uh, mm. Anyway, everyone, please make Leo feel welcome. And Leo, if you would, please take a seat. It looks like the third seat in the second row from the right is open. Will that be okay? Leo? Ah, you're addressing me. I see no reason to not allow you to call me Leo, as it didn't feel awkward to hear it from you. If you have the chance, it, I'd very much like for a delightful woman like you to visit my country. What? Jeez! Don't joke with your teacher! To your seat, Leo. I want to make you sign since, well, it is kind of flattering of you to say that. Of course. <laughs> this guy. Of course. I appreciate your diplo diplomacy, Miss Fujimura. Then the boy gave the kind of easy f smile that only kids can. That simple smile washes away the tension in the room and people begin, even begin to smile themselves. I think he is not so much a king as a prince. He may be above us, but he also has natural charisma that draws us up to his level. However, it seems that there is at least one person in class whose millage va varies. I don't like him. Flirting with the teacher already? That's arrogant like little twerp. That Shinji is clearly not happy. If you have any questions, ask anyone in the, anyone in the class for or your or myself. Um, I mean, come to me first. <laughs> There's no need to be shy. Yes, I understand. I'm pleased that I'll be attending such a good school. Am I imagining things? Just for a second, I thought he, sh he shifted his attention towards me. Or towards anyone else, not even Shinji, who's still bad mouthing Leo. But to me alone. Yeah, right. There's no way a practically otherworldly person like him would notice bland me. 
Oh, already evening. The school day ended with nothing else of interest appearing. But that Leo, I can't shake the uneasiness he awoke in my heart. It feels like cogs somewhere have become misaligned. 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 That's right. And I'm just excited because, for once, something happened. Well, besides what happened yesterday, I should report yesterday's findings to the editor in chief. To the editor in chief! Oh, our club's ace. You find anything yesterday? Mm. Mm. What? A little red rooftop vanished before your eyes? If she disappeared, there's it. there isn't anything we can do about that. Nothing we can do. What's with the editor in chief's reaction? It's not right. I thought she'd say something like, Hey, don't scare me like that! Which one are you going for? Uh, actually, the proclama proclamatic part is how nonchalant she is that a person disappeared. Yeah, I know, right? It, it's just normal for people to disappear out of nowhere uh, into thin air. Your next star will be Mystery of the Courtyard Chapel. The editor in chief keeps. The editor in chief keeps uh, uh, talking like nothing happened. She's already on the next thing. Should I say something? Hey, did you know there's a chapel on campus? Even though this isn't a mission school, it seems the chapel has been here longer than the school. This is just a rumor, but they say that it's haunted and magic rites are performed there. Rituals. I'm sending you to investigate. The entrance to the country ca courtyard. Country. <laughs> courtyard is on the end of the right side of the first floor hallway. Okay. First floor hallway. Oh, what the hell? It's funny how I don't remember any of this, even though I completed the game three times. Oh, it's... Oh, what the... Can I walk? The man stands like a blank stain. Tinting the joyfully multicolored flowers around him. Flower beds around him. It's the new teacher, Kuzuki. But the man standing in front of me isn't acting like a teacher by any strength. Stretch of the imagination. The sick malignancy of overbearing aggression fills the air and then scattering around him are dead bodies of students? Why did you came in here? Come in here. I'm certain I'm locked that door. I suppose I'll test you out. Oh, what the hell? His thin lips hardly moved, but in the next instant... Oh shit! <laughs> I'm bowled over as if struck by an invisible force. Chaotic thoughts bury my brain like endless grains of sand. What happened? Can I move my lips? Seriously? What was that? Kuzuki hasn't moved. No one else is nearby. Who? Why? How? My thoughts whirl. My heart races. What the rush? <laughs> That's the, uh, I see what you are now. It isn't you, I suppose. His voice was a quiet hiss, but I could hear everything he said. This man with cold and incredible eyes raises his palm towards me. Please don't kill me. When I came to, I collapsed in the gra in the garden. The garden is silent. There's not even a trace of Kuzuki or the 
corpse that had been there. I'm an injured, though my body act etches from lying on the hard ground. The cold sweat that had covered me is gone. Two. Only the piercing pain in my head remained. Maybe it was just a bad dream, I gulp hair and attempt to stand. What a dream that was. The ground seems to move under my feet. I'm delusional, of course. So the ground isn't moving. I'll give my report to a chief editor in chief tomorrow and just go home today. Oh, zero days remaining, finally. When I enter the classroom this time, things are a bit different. Whoa, okay then. How do you solve this problem, Leo? In this case, uh, you substitute this for this and divide everything by x. It's the same simple equation that you used earlier. Oh, you're right! Thank you, Leo! Unlike someone else, he helps out his classroom, his classmates without displaying an ounce of condensation. Why am I talking like this? And that someone is dis directing a <laughs> nasty scowl towards the new kid. Yeah, let's beat up the new kid. Uh, that bunch of brown noising idiots will suck up to anyone who's got bigger pea brains than theirs. <laughs> Whatever. It's not. It's no skin off my back. People who are ugly inside are ugly outside too. Uh, it seems <laughs> this guy. It seems that Shinji's gaggle of female admirers has migrated to Leo's desk. I don't know. <laughs> uh, for once, Shinji's irritating irritation is kind of understood. Understand, under, understandable, understandable. I'll give him this. The brat is a real characteristic worker. Oh, uh, uh, he's desperate to appear smarter than me, but I'm the real smart one here. <laughs> I see what he's doing. What are you doing? That dumb little kid doesn't know uh, that I'm on to him. Reacting to Shinji's voice, Leo glances this way. Leo's expression is incru inscrutable, but not hostile. Uh, uh. What do you want? You wanna go? You wanna go? You wanna find? <laughs> After a few false starts, Shinji finally manages to squeeze that out in a low voice. I don't know if Leo heard, but he gets out of his seat. The recoil turns into a noticeable flinch, which Leo smiles kindly at it in, re at in re response. Unlike Shinji's, Leo's gestures are filled with dignity. If I have an unknowing unknowingly given you cause to be malicious, I would like to deeply apologize. Shinji Moto, that was it? I'll be careful not to upset you in the future. His message firmly delivered Leo returns to Leo returns to his seat. His soft voice bore no note for hostility or resentment. I know it's hard to believe, but maybe Leo wasn't upset. <laughs> in the <laughs> to bow down to the true authority, it seems. <laughs> I'm such a nice guy. I'll just accept his apology. Y yeah, it's not like he didn't, he ever pisses me off. Pissed me off. After visually confirming that Leo is otherwise occupied, Shinji faints calmly and leans back. Shinji's just a douche. Phew! I made it. Good morning, every. And uh, she is fine. Uh, yep. Yesterday was the only exception, I guess. And third. Uh, that sound makes me cringe no matter how many times I hear it. What the, 
the fingernails, the chalkboard. Every, everyone is this sun, this to it to the foremost part. Even knowing that she'll jump to her feet in a few seconds, we should probably wor worry more. Midday. She still seems to be in a bad mood. It's obvious that he doesn't like Leo all that much. With, hi with him, it's impossible to tell if he's really mad or just being cynical. Either way, it's just more of the same. Just like our homeroom teacher's daily dramatic entrance. And once again, the day begins. Alrighty. Alrighty. Then, let's pick up where we left off. According to Dr. Peaceman's biography, during class, I thought I saw Leo smirk a little. But other than that, nothing exciting, exciting occurred. Today is just another boring day in a long star steering string Jesus, of boring days. I'm kinda tired of reading. Who here knows what amnesia is? It's a terrifying condition where an individual loses all of their memories. It's caused by brain damage, severe trauma, or even infections of one's mucous membranes. What the hell? The section of the doctor's biography we just covered touches on this condition. The cure for such a scary condition was discovered by Dr. Peaceman. He's such a piece of a man. <laughs> with, that, with that said, using amnesia as an excuse for forgetting your homework isn't going to fly. Wow. When I was young, a fair number of my classmates were unscrupulous enough to try it. Oh, really? And before you get any ideas, I'm still young. In fact, I'm putting that in fact on the test that what that you're young. And as per the norm, Tiger's lecture, Tiger, not Tiger, for a woman, lecture starts to patter out. Just as collective, this again starts to rise from the students. What the? Miss Fujimura? Without being acknowledged by the teacher, Leo suddenly rises to his feet. Attention in the classroom ratchets up immediately as all eyes focus on Leo. The young boy surveys the room with a mysterious smile, taking in everyone's startled glances. Oh, and of course, my fellow classmates, it is time for me to leave. We will probably never meet again, so I wish you all well. Such a nice guy. What the? My head. The pain! It hurts so much! Ah, and before I forget, Miss Fujimura, I think you are still young even now. Just your presence is enough to remind me of the beauty of youth. You're a, a remarkable person. After what seemed to be a very slight bow, he immediately seems to disappear from the room. Um, alright then, let's continue, please turn to page 89, 86, 89, what the hell. And, the, and occupied by the sound of flipping pages, the lesson goes on as if nothing had happened. Yeah, cause F that guy, right? <laughs> Showing off like that in the middle of class, what a jackass. I'm the jackassest. If you have to use the John... The John? Be a little more discreet... Oh, come on! <laughs> uh, and then I have to leave crap? Seriously, isn't it supposed to be some kind of aristocrat or priceling or something? Of course, what just happened is impossible. A highly, sus a highly suspicious disappearance in the middle of class, class, and the teacher doesn't seem to care. No one in class says anything. The class continues as nothing strange has happened. It was the same dull, eerie scene as yesterday and the day before. This can't be natural. Right? Evening. Now finally things are going to happen. 
After Laos ex exist exit Laos exit Laos exit from class. Uh, the lesson continues and baited as if following a set script. Strange. This is definite definitely strange. It's as if the world tilted slightly and everything within it is losing its sense of presence. My head feels like it's going to explode. The pain is making it hard to remember who I am. Wait, come to think of it... I mean, really? Who am I? What is my name? How old am I? Where did I live? <laughs> How many people are in my family? What was my life like before I started attending this school? I can't remember anything. My memory has been completely erased somehow. How and why did this happen? That's right, the editor-in-chief of the journalism club. As the president of the journalism club, you should at least know my name. But you remember her what? <laughs> I know I had to have filled out something when I first joined the club. I'll ask her. Hopefully she'll be in a normal spot. Yeah, let's ask. The editor in chief. Oh, our club's ace. Did you find out anything yesterday? The editor in chief is an unusual cherry self. All I can think about is a pile of dead bodies. I witnessed that I didn't I didn't see any dead bodies, what the hell? Now I have to ask about myself. I'll ask her what my name is. Huh? Your name? Just look it up in the registry in the library. Yeah, the school registry. But don't you know mine? <laughs> uh, it has everyone's name. If I look at the school registry, re registry, registry, it might jog my memory. I'll go to the library. Uh, where's the library, actually? Actually. Uh, you want to see the registry of names? It's on the bookshelf in the library, I think. Library. Oh, library. I found it. Tsukimi Hara Academy Student Registry. Registry. Oh, registry. That's how I pronounce it. Once I read through this, I should be able to remind that remember anything about myself. I opened the book and began turning pages. Immediately, I noticed something ter something's terribly wrong. The pages are blank. Blank, blank, blank. Everything, sing Every single page was blank. I reached for the last year's school registry, and when I start flipping through the pages, blank, 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 blank. What is happening here? Who am I? And just what is this place? Oh, she's gone. Let's go downstairs. Oh, look, it's Leo. Hey, what's up, dude? There is something wrong with this place. But more horrifying... Oh, more worrying is the fact that I can't remember who I am. As I wander the campus, I see we oh, Leo walking down a hallway on the first floor. As a transfer student, I can't see why Leo would want to visit any of the freshmen. Also, there is nothing but a dead end up there, up ahead. I wonder what Leo is really up to. Oh my god, what's happened? What's happening? What's happening? What is he? I suddenly have this weird feeling that someone or something is up ahead in the hallway. Oh, the music. Who for some reason is examining the hall the end of the hallway with almost excessive interest. The attention to detail is quite impressive. Even the surrounding area is surprisingly substantial. If that is the case, this world is in some ways more real than the real world it represents. How is that even possible? <laughs> it's just a game. But that's just my opinion. How about you guys? What are your thoughts on this? In that moment, it feels like my heart skips a bit. Almost immediately my blood pressure 
skyrockets along with my body's temperature. Badum, badum, badum. My pussy is like an explosion in my ears. As my blood races through my veins and re and the reason is clear. Now he, I mean Leo, has turned. It's funny how he doesn't remember his own name but remembers Leo's name. Has turned to face me. I know now. I now know for sure he's talking to me as if there is nobody else present besides the two of us. Greetings! I believe this is the first time we've had an actual conversation. I don't feel any sense of hostility from Leo. In fact, his smile seems genuinely friendly. His smile has the same effect on me as the rising of the morning sun. Whoa, whoa, that's mad. Warm and comforting. In addition to his smile, his presen presence is inviting and inclu inclusive and I find myself drawn to him. Oddly, my memories are vanished. All I can think of is doing as he says, as that's the only way to. My mind feels like it's in the haze. It's like Leo is controlling my thoughts in some way. I think school wasn't half bad. I've never had the opportunity to go to one before now. In that respect, this has been quite an interesting experience. However, the time of for fun has come to an end. I did not come here to play at being a student. No matter how enjoyable the detour, eventually one must return to their appointed path. And for me, the time to do so has arrived. With those final words, Leo turns his back to on me. Farewell. No, that's not quite right. I don't think Farewell would be accurate in this situation. For reasons I cannot explain, I have the distinct feeling that we will see each other again. So I guess I should use the more congenial, 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 I don't know. See you later. Well, it's time for me to move on. I wish you the best of luck. With those final words, Leo disappears. It's like he ceases to exist. One moment his hand is on the wall, the next moment he is gone. The, the next is gone. The young man in front of me seems to disappear before my very eyes. I want to say reality rejected his existence. In <laughs> That's just dumb. But it feels like it was an up the opposite. That he refused to be con constrained by it. It wasn't any special ability. It allowed him to do so. Just his strength of will. With his departure, I feel as if a great, a great height is filtered, lifted, filtered, what the hell, uh, from my very being. And rather than be a, a cause for concern, it brings a fundamental question to mind. What the fuck am I? As the question pops into my head, to begin, it begins to take on a life of its own, searing my brain. I investigate the wall that Leo disappeared through. through. It's just a concrete wall at the end of the hallway, about the only thing on the floor is dust. But am I positive there must but I am positive there must be something here because I'll walk through the wall it would be so easy to turn around to go back down the hall and pretend nothing happened but there's still f but there are still things I need to know I have no memories it means I've never had anywhere else to go but here no place to return to what was it that Leo said no matter how enjoyable the detour, eventually one must return to their appointed path. That's what he said, didn't he? Then beyond this wall lies the appointed path and the truth. 
If I follow him, I'll learn the answers to my questions, even if those answers are painful. They probably are, actually. <laughs> but ignorance is bliss. Do I have the fortitude to face the truth and accept it? I don't want to know. I don't know. I don't know. Something's different. Down to the floors and the walls. And the school has changed the very substance of its being. For some reason, reality's cracking this way is intense, intensely disturbing. This world around me is more real than a painting. But not even as real as a sandcastle. I feel like it's so bright, or I could tap it and the echo would shake its whole world. This world, whole world. Where the boring concrete wall once stood, now there's a door that I can freely walk through. It's an entrance. No, an emergency exit. Like stairs to the outside. It's not something of this world. I have no doubt that the world the door leads to its utterly alien. Extra uh, <clears throat> whatever waits inside, whatever shape it takes, there's certain sort of finality to, to seeing it. Ultimately, 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 I've already committed to this path. I bid farewell to the false world and take my first first step along the pointed path. Oh, what a neat room. Not really, but what a neat room. That thing looks weird. Can I... okay. Beyond the door seems to be a dismal looking scrapyard. Out in front of me is a smooth skin effig... effigy... effigy? While trying to figure out exactly what to do with it. Welcome, potential master. Her voice comes out of nowhere. I cra oh my god. <laughs> that effigy with you is your sword. What effigy? Uh, and shield for the what lies. Oh, oh, the, it's not the effigy talking, okay. It will move in response to your commands. <coughs> now then, please proceed. The truth that you seek lies ahead. The motivation of the owner of that voice worries me. Worry me. But it's obvious I won't learn anything but st by standing here. Also, there is no longer a path by which I can return. I have no choice but to head into the darkness with only this strange doll as protection. What's an effigy anyway? Who's that? I made it. Within the deepest depths of the world behind beho beyond the door. This place must be the real goal I'm supposed to reach. At least that's what I thought. It's stifling the or the aura of purity that seems to act as war against corrupted souls who tried to enter. The feeling is familiar. It has the feeling of a chapel where the spirits of the descend deceased still linger. What the who the hell is that? That's just uh not the main character right? Or a secondary red. At first, I didn't notice. Being overwhelmed by the grandeur of the room, but one side is a young man in a familiar uniform lying still on the ground. I call out to him, but there is no reply. I shake him in an attempt to wake him up, and I notice he's stone cold. I go as pale as the corpse before me, and I can no longer think coherently. All I can do is stare in bewilderment, bewilderment, uh, I don't know. It is as this moment... 
a new challenger appeared. The fallen effigy lying next to the male student. <laughs> pale student, male student, what's the difference, right? <laughs> uh, student comes to its feet with a clatter. Before I get a chance to make sense of what's going on, it suddenly twists around and comes right at me. Jesus. It's kinda scary at <laughs> uh, Oh, right. Yeah, let's do this! Come on, come on! I can win this! It's not very fair. Can I, can I, can I like play or something? Extra turn. Well, that's just unfair. Oh, well, that was disappointing. Disappointing. <laughs> oh, it's not me talking. <laughs> Mm. You seem to be lacking as well. I didn't stand a chance against that thing. It seems I wasn't qualified to be here. Me? Qualifications? That's right, I should know everything by now. The truth has to be here. But now... <sighs> everything's going dark. I'm not even really scared. The only th feeling that remains in my in me is regret. Regret. Even at the very end, I wasn't able to remember anything about myself. Someone. Anyone. If you make it beyond here, please don't forget my name. What the? Opening sequence. Ooh. Oh, look, it's Shinji. I actually didn't remember he was going to be part of this. I thought he was just an NPC, actually. But Lance is so badass. game isn't going to be in English, apparently. His story has ended. But what about yours? Before you write your own story, choose the vessel of your power. A woman wields a sword boldly, a stoic warrior clothed in red rob robes, a magical fox girl. Yeah, I, w I want the magical fox. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I'm actually going with Archer. Because Saber is OP and Caster is hard as F. He's hard as fuck. <laughs> oh, we're like back. I always awaken very abruptly. I don't even think a dr I dream. I suddenly find myself walking to school. My my headache worsens every day. Worsens day by day. Oh, okay. <laughs> Until it finally buzzes in my head. Like an alarm. That day, in potent numbness, I wake up twice as fast as normal. I walk to the schoolyard. It's clear and cloudless. 7.30 a.m. But what season is it? When I try to recall what season it is, I start to get so dizzy I almost pass out. 
Oh, no, now that I think about it, um, oh, that character never ended ended up never actually seeing Leo again, so it was actually a farewell. I may wind up back in bed if I let go and faint. For some time, I have been embracing a rush of useless information, the normal stuff you'd see at a school, like the hustle and bustle of my classmates by the entrance. It hasn't changed. It hasn't changed. When I pushed the thought, my field of vision fizzled. Today, again today, there's a crowd of students smiling in front of the school gate. And got and more are being directed that way. It's what's going on? There's a boy in black uniform in front of the school gate. He's my friend, as I recall. He's he's a Ryudo, as I recall. Guys have the amnesia, you see? The video game. I remember this from the first time. When he see notice me notice, notices me looking at he pushes through the crowd. Cause he, he likes me. <laughs> Good morning, lovely weather we're having, don't you think? Why is everyone grey anyway? Hmm. Why do you look so surprised? We announced at last week's assembly that this month the student council would strictly enforce school rules. He runs through his spills, piles, as if this was the first time he'd ever discussed close the information I already know this I know it I already know about know what about what happens it happened more than once I'm seized by an attic I'm so dizzy I feel like I'm being forcibly forcibly logged out of some consciousness of my consciousness first let me check your student ID I shouldn't need to remind you but it should be on you at all times. My login ID I being is being checked. It's so obvious now. I answer clear clearly to the question that usually makes me go dizzy. Okay, I think this is a good spot to pause the video, or pause the episode, or pause the playthrough, pause the walkthrough. I don't know, you decide. Um yeah, thanks everyone for watching. I'll be continuing this, continuing this for some time. And I'll see you guys next time. Next time, yeah, I'm not Okay, I'll see you guys next time.